So we're just inside the kind of entrance space to a site called Tamale here in Sardinia. This is not too far from Macoma. Um, it's got Neolithic monoliths here. And these are kind of in the shape of cones, which is a style that is quite well known here. The ones here actually have breasts carved on them, like some kind of fertility or goddess symbol. As well as that, we have three giant's graves uh, that possibly had the large kind of oval shaped stones. We're not too sure. We're going to go and have a look. And also has Naraji here. So we're looking at potentially three different cultures in one site. So I'm very excited to be here. This, this is an amazing site uh, and I'm keen to get up to there but just in here there's a couple of interesting things I just want to show you. So here just shows you all the different photos of what we're looking at here. We've got the Naraji, um, with the giant's grave, you can just see the shape here. Here's just some of the pottery that was found at the site. Here are like three examples. Over here we have this sort of ceremonial image, an artist impression of what actually went on here. And this is a beautiful painting of the site of one of the giant's graves with the Naraji and the stones all in one image. So let's get into the main site and take a closer look. So here at Tamale we have three giant's graves. Now this is a classic megalithic design that we find here in Sardinia. A date back to at least 1800 to 900 BC. The ones here are about 1500 to 1200 uh, BC. So we're looking at the Bronze Age. And although some of them don't have remains, most of them do. So what happened to the remains, whether they were actually taller than average people, we just don't know, but I'm very keen to find out. So the graves here are also have these battles, and these are the conical shaped megaliths that we saw in the museum, but they have some fine examples here. So I believe there's six of them. And these are said, are said to represent life and fertility, the goddess and so forth. And these are very close to the giant's graves. So you, you get in this mixture of the dead with life all in the same place. So here are the giant's graves. Now they're just like piles of rock, but actually there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. Giant's Grave B just behind me. This is quite an intriguing one because this actually aligns northwest with the southeast entrance. This would suggest, again, we have a winter solstice sunrise alignment. Uh, we keep finding that with these Giant's Graves. So it's very much like the long barrows we find in Britain. So I find this absolutely intriguing. Uh, it does suggest they were certainly working with astronomy here. So we're just walking in to Giant's Grave B here at Tamale. You can just see it's quite an impressive structure what's left of it. There's not that much left of it, but there was no large frontal stone here, which I find interesting, but very large monoliths here. I can see why they attributed this to giants. So this is the alignment looking southeast towards a midwinter sunrise from Giant's Grave B. What you can see behind me is kind of the curved forecourt that we have at this particular giant's tomb. Now this is something we find about all the giant's graves, all the giant's tombs here in Sardinia, or most of them anyway. And although the main large stone, which is like the oval shaped stone, which has got relief carved, sort of almost like a sh shoe uh, imprint, uh, is not here. But we do have the shape, the classic shape of the giant's tomb, which again reminds us of a bull's head. You can see an image of that here. And it just shows you the classic shape. So this does suggest this was an early Bronze Age, possibly a Neolithic site. This is known as Grave A here at Tamuli. This is better known as Betel's Grave. It's about 300 meters from the Naraji. Um, the central body is about 14.3 meters long and it has a, a classic semicircular kind of uh, causeway entrance part. So you can just see the portal entry here to tomb A. And this does look like 
a large stone was here and this is the lower part where they have the entrance and so this could well have had one of those amazing oval shaped pieces we're walking into the tomb now giant's tomb a the back here even is a very large thin chunk of stone and also we have a perfectly curved piece here and i wonder if you put all these together you're going to get what we find at the other giant's tombs one of the amazing large oval front pieces the man here is the monolith so again this is beautifully cut as well but this one is just very very intricate you see other examples of the beautiful stone work here so we're just at the back of the giant's tomb a here at tamale you can see the betels on the right the six of them with three with the female breasts so these are the famous betel stones of tamale this is called betel's grave behind here these ones are famous because they have what appears to be human female breasts on them like a representation of the goddess now whether these were here before the graves we don't know there's no, there's no clear evidence of that and these aren't exactly in the original positions either but these are unique here there's nothing quite like it obviously there are stones that you have with kind of faces like abstract faces on them like we see in corsica um, but these i would suggest represent fertility represent the goddess and in england these are just classic men ears or standing stones uh, but with these protrusions and it's almost like the protrusions you get in peru strangely but obviously these represent something in particular they could have all been in a row so it could have been an alignment it looks like it's aligned southeast which is the winter solstice sunrise and northwest and so it could have had that they could have also these could have also had a kind of shadow effect where the shadow would create different uh, movements and record different movements of the sun So this is the Niraji village here at Tamale, not far from Makoma. And you can just see the tower up here, classic style. So you can see, it even has, down at the lower level here, chambers that look just like stone chambers of New England. So it's very intriguing, covered with earth. Where would you think this was? To me, this is just like the stone chambers we get in New England and we can go in it here. So I'm just entering one of these amazing chambers, like these megalithic chambers we have here at Tamale. This is part of the Neurajic village and this really is incredible. Wow, and go right to the back. This is amazing. Again, we're seeing the same kind of style. Roof lintels there. The entrance with the corbelled style. Dry stone walling. This is really quite something. Cobwebs everywhere. You see more of these chambers all over the site here. Several of them. The main Naraji tower there. Another chamber here, the back side of it. Absolutely amazing. Were these living quarters? This is where people, the giants slept. Or will these have another purpose? Yet more chambers, the further we walk around. Absolutely amazing. The whole site is covered in these chambers. So this is what they class as a neurologic village very very interesting this is really where people lived another one there